All right, in this video, we are installing Switch Pros on my Land Cruiser Otis and 80 series. But whether you're putting on a Jeep or an 80, I looked at a bunch of videos and there's some specific things that they never show you actually hooking up the lights. Tons of videos on like where to place your Switch Pros. So here's what's crazy. I did take this out of an existing vehicle that I bought that only had two lights. It only had these two, so I had all of these right and i want to add it to my truck that has about eight sets of lights so one two three four five six seven eight perfect that's going to be perfect for me now here's just the crazy thing i first of all harvested the switch pros which is just this right you have the brains but the size of a cell phone it's genius solid state everything's in there it's all epoxied and you know it's just totally uh what ip68 uh weatherproof one attachment that's going to go to your positive, one to your negative, which is one of these wires, and then to your, um, so to get, give the power to an ignition. So in this case, I put this to the dimming light in the Land Cruiser. I'll show you that for Land Cruiser people. But here's what's crazy. That's it. That's the whole system and all your wires will come into um, this, this harness, right? That all the wires come out. Uh, that go all the way here. It's kind of, kind of like they're coming out of here, right? So I just have to peel these back. Because again, only two um, lights were set up with this. Only two. So I figured, let me take it out of that one and I'll just put my old switches. So check this out. This is just two switches worth. Kind of like split in the middle, right? That's a Baja design harness. And this is for the JK lights that I have in the front. And you know, it gets kind of ugly. You get different switches, so everything's mixed matched. That's just two lights. Imagine I had eight. You'd have to multiply all this times four. It would be like a snake pit. And it's all wrapped up and because you get, I don't know, three kilometers worth of wiring with Baja Designs. Just makes for a lot going on in the engine bay. And you gotta tuck and hide all this stuff. Way too busy. I don't think I would even be able to add six more sets of lights. But I certainly can with this. That's all it is. It's phenomenal. And I don't like wiring. I'm not a wiring guy, but I watched some videos, so no problem. I'll show you where I'm going to put this in a second. Um, so many cool places you can put this. And just with the app and changing the colors, everything you can do, it does a lot more than I even know of yet. And I'm sure most people, it does a lot more than they even know. Um, so pretty excited to put that in. And look, this is my little grommet in the firewall. And it you know, it's going to have just this uh, one wire that goes to the um, to the switches here going through. With all my other switches, like, forget about it. <laughs> I'm going to put, what, eight different wires through it. I would have had to drill another hole in my firewall. This would not have been enough. But it's it, this is actually too much for the Switch Pros. Oh, yeah. And then here's my little plan of what I'm going to do. So I would suggest doing this. Just draw it out, you know, kind of a grade two picture of your truck and then you know where you're putting your lights and you need to calculate like look i was calculating how many amps each one would take because these four are going to be able to take uh, a lot more than these four right so these four use for your led less power lights uh, up to 20 amps and these are 35 right so plan ahead kind of get your schematic down and um, the Switch Pro guys, they're available for a phone call. So I did have one question, called them. They were awesome. They were there to answer. But here we go. We're going to install the Switch Pros. Let me show you where I'm putting this bad boy. It's a hot 90 degree day. So my car cover I, I have is a, like a canopy. Um, and this is, this is my old cable coming down here from two of my lights that are in the front and everything on the Land Cruiser is going to be right in here right in front of the battery and then my firewall is right down there let's see if we can see it from the inside well let me get that camera up there we go see where the lights coming in that's where that grommet I was showing you earlier that's where the wire will come in and you tap 
for the Land Cruiser is going to be right here. That's where you're going to tap for your ignition. It's the cigarette lighter, actually. And then up here, I already have it off. This is where you're going to tap for the backlighting of the actual switch itself. But Wits End makes an awesome um, kind of like replacement to your uh, ashtray. So unless you're a smoker, you want to find another place. But if not, it's going to go right there. It's going to look nice and clean. So it's pretty easy in a Land Cruiser to run the wire behind here. I don't have to really take anything off. Comes up here. I'm going to go right into that. Number three. That switch right there. The 7.5. And then uh, the other wire is going to go up and tap into the dimmer switch. This is hard to come off. You actually have to unscrew this. Everything else pops out like, like so, right? And those holes, I'll have to order some new caps. Those holes were for my two different uh, light switches that were there before. So we're going to make this nice and clean again. OEM, no switches there because it is triple lock. So I don't need to put any ARBs or anything here. Um, and then this is my dimmer. So I will tap into that. So I'll pop these out. I'll pull this out so I can get my uh, green wire to attach that. And then everything will be command central right there. Super clean. I am so excited to do it and finally get all my roof rack lights um, connected. All right. So the one other thing I was going to mention is what that Switch Pros to me is the best on the market. I did some homework. But again, I did harvest this from a truck I already had, so I was so happy to have access to it. But it's $5.99, right? If you think about it, the har th this harness, I remember when I bought this harness for my uh, LP9 lights, this is 100 bucks, right? So some lights come with harnesses, harnesses, some don't. But if you think about it, if you're gonna set up eight lights and you have to buy eight harnesses times 100 bucks, that's 800 bucks right there with a huge mess. You're gonna have miles of cable in your car. Where are you gonna stuff all that? This, 599, with the versatility that the switches do, it's gonna be so cool. All right, so get your game plan, get ready, and I'm going to put that in and I'll show you how you wire up like an LED because the big thing with the LP9s, you know, it's got that glow light in the back. Um, you know, you can attach it to your parking lights. I don't want to do that. I want to have a switch where I can turn on my LP9s and two sets of rigids. I have a front set and this rear set here. So the rear has the red glow, you know, so because it's taillight in the back. So it's got red and the front has amber up top on the roof rack. So I want to have one switch that'll activate all those. And I'll show you how I hook that up. So let me pause this and get busy. Okay, this is probably the toughest part of the whole install. So these pop out. So don't be shy. You pop them, get a little screwdriver, pop it. Once you get one, you can get the rest. Uh, this does not pop out. So there's a little nut that you have to undo. I think it's 10 millimeter or 11. So you got to undo that nut. Then you can pop this out. And that's, that's the switch that's in there. So I pushed it back. I pulled it under the lower part where the, the mirror adjustments are. And then this is the wire you gotta get. So you see how I ultimately set up a little, uh, with a ex little X-Acto knife blade with this. I basically took my time to access. I'm sure you can get like a wire crimp, but uh, I don't have one. So I just exposed enough I'm going to put this wire on that I fished up with this wire through the bottom and that's where we're at. All right, I did it. So I popped this off as you saw previously, did the wiring through this lower hole, then you got to push it back up to the top. So I'll need both my fingers for this. Oh, there we go, almost got it. All right, and then I can put that little nut back on and uh, screw this thing back down. All right, that's the toughest part of this whole thing and then I'll pop everything back in and give it a test. Okay, another little trick. This is really hard to find out where to go from under here. Basically going like 
12 inches to here. So this you can feel with your finger, this trying to come through, but you can't pull it through. So what I did is I took one of my other old harnesses, right? And I pushed this through that bottom corner. So it goes through, popped out this side. You're gonna have to wiggle it and push it. it might take three or four times. But once it came through, I taped up the two to make it almost one continuous cable and pulled it through here. It was a little tough here, but I finally pulled it through, untaped it, and voila. So I'll probably pull more of this through and, and wrap it up in there, just coil it up in there. There's some space. All right, now I get to plug in the good old panel. It's in. Yeah, it's just a thing of beauty. It's not wired up yet, but look, this is... I'm shaking that it's solid and believe it or not um, so the wits end has a bottom bar and a top one and then this is just a dummy screw it won't go into anything I just have the two bottom ones done because I didn't want to undo all this just to access a bolt to put the rest of the wits end it's solid it ain't budging so you don't need to put that third one in you just need the two bottom but that is in it's wired underneath Grommet is closed, wires are going through, and I have, there it is. That goes into the cigarette, which is number, no, sorry, it's going into the ignition. Yeah, so the ignition, so when the car starts, that's when it's plugged in, and then the other wire, is dialed into the green here on the dimmer switch so it means means that that is always lit for the backlighting on that all right that's installing um everything but attaching it to the battery now i got to put the basically the brains the command center um, the wiring center up by the battery that's next so i wanted to test my switch pros before i put all the lights and bluetooth wouldn't connect and that's because this is an earlier firmware. So I called up Switch Pros, and it so happens they're in my neighborhood. Switch Pros <laughs> in Rancho Santa Margarita. So they're going to update the software. So they've been super helpful, and then this will connect to Bluetooth. This is a late 2019. They're still the same except for updated software. So if you get a brand new one, you're not going to have an Android issue like I did. But I'm uh, going to head in and get this uh, firmware updated and back back to my truck. All right, so I am back from Switch Pros. This has been reprogrammed, so Bluetooth will connect. But just, just to share with people, there are other options on the market, right? This one has a lot of versatility. However, there's this one. This is Oxbeam. That's 159 bucks, so almost... You know 75 percent off however this will be one color this one's green i think you can get blue but effectively you know you got all your um, labels they give you mounting hardware i i've had this a year ago it was actually what i was going to put in and then i opted when i uh got these this other one the switch pros i opted to do that but still this is a pretty small um panel and you have a mount, it comes with an actual mount, which is cool. This, which I believe would also work in my cigarette ashtray um, wits end option. So instead of spending a hundred bucks on the wits, wits end, I could have used that. And then here, I guess for their hookup, they're using a bar where you can just put in all your wires. Um, so works similar, instead of hard wiring, I'm gonna actually use these, right? Uh, some people like this because they can switch and you know make changes as time goes. But all of that you get for 159, and I think they have one which has RGB Bluetooth connectivity, so you can change the colors, which is 269. Still half price. The Switch Pros, but Switch Pros is made in the USA versus this is made in China. Um, you know all the chips are going to come from China at this time, but the rest of this is assembled at that. Um, uh, office uh, their their main office headquarters that I went to which I did go through I wish I wish I was allowed to film it but it was super clean super organized brand new building state-of-the-art 
awesome stuff. This, obviously, I'm not going to fly to China to go see how they make theirs. But this looks like a great option. I've only heard great things of it as well online. And again, I haven't put labels, but this will light up green only. But everything wires up pretty much the same way. All epoxied on the inside. This is IP65, which I think this one is rated higher. But anyhow, back on. Just wanted to show there are options in the market um, and much less expensive for anybody who's on a budget build. This will still get the job done, turning them on and off. This, with your Bluetooth, you can program. You can do a whole bunch of gnarly things um, if you want that versatility. All right, let's get it plugged in. And if you do subscribe, I will have a video uh, installing this likely on my Land Rover Defender, which is only going to be operating a couple lights. But at that point, I'll be able to do a full comparison between the two. All right. Onward with this one. All right, there it is. Plugged in and programmed everything. So I've even able, you know, not just putting the stickers on there, um, but I've been able to, in the program on my phone, name each switch if I ever want to turn them on or off through the phone. Right now, I will show you uh, just kind of some still images since I'm using the phone that programs this. So check it out. And as you can see, a plethora of things that you can do and program on your Switch Pros. So I'm going to actually, in this video, I'm going to make this part one because the Switch, the control panel, uh, everything connected to the battery, everything's dialed in. Now I just have to bring in the lights. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this the amber is going to be the back glow. I'm going to show you how this, the LP9, um, you can set it to be toggled between like 100%, which would be the high beam, um, and then, you know, different variations, preset variations like 70%, 50%, 30%. So I could actually use those lower than what LP9 makes them as a switch, so I can use it as a driving light if I really want to. So um, I will share all that and, you know, attaching some rigid lights, some aftermarket lights or, you know, I'll show you all the different lights. So that'll be in part two. So part one, we've got it all hooked in. Everything's dialed, ready to start attaching the lights. And I got some interesting ways to ground uh, up on the roof rack in the uh, the OEM holes where I removed the roof rack. I'm going to seal those up and I think I'm going to use one or two of them as my grounding. So I don't have to bring those wires all the way through the vehicle. Less wires, less clutter. All right. So thanks for tuning in to this part one and part two uh, will be in my description or following this video right on the screen to the upper left. All right. Cool. Happy trails.